about cancers on the eye surface, I like to think of it from the front to the back. So on the front, you can have cancers on the eyelids, and then there's the surface of the eye, ocular surface cancers, that's the conjunctiva and the white part, the sclera, and the cornea, the dome. There are cancers that can develop inside the eye, intraocular tumors and cancers, and then even some that can be in the back of the eye. So my focus is the ocular surface and the lesions that develop there. So there are benign lesions, meaning ones that are not malignant, like pterygium or nevi and different pigments that can develop on the surface. And in general, those types of lesions are benign, but we still have to watch them because even the benign ones that are often also caused by sun can have a risk of malignant transformation or becoming something bad. Uh, then there are the ones that are malignant, like squamous cell cancers are the most common that develop on the eye surface, malignant melanoma, and lymphoma. So for the ocular surface, the good thing about it is that since it's right up front, many people will notice that they have something strange on their eye surface, or someone will look at them and say, what's, what's that on your eye? whereas ones that are in the back of the eye or inside the eye may be harder to detect. So usually the first signs and symptoms are that the patient may feel like there's something on the eye. It may be red or pigmented or a bump. And that's usually how people come in, that they'll notice it or someone will ask them what is that on their eye surface. Most of the cancers that develop on the eye surface particularly the squamous cell cancers and the melanomas, and even the benign, like the pterygium, are from the sun as the primary risk factor. And so we have our eyes open all day long, and so we're exposed to the sun. And especially the cancers often develop in what we call the exposure zone, where the eyes are open. And that's because that's where the UV then hits the surface of the eye. So all of us, especially living in Florida, have a chance of having something develop on the eye surface. We can't put sunscreen on our eyes, so sunglasses are protective and hats, but we really get a lot of UV light onto the eye surface. So sun is the main risk factor. There are other things, genetics, some viruses, and other things that can develop cancers and from other parts of the body, but the primary one is sun. So to diagnose and treat these lesions, often they'll have a certain appearance, like a brown, dark lesion. You would think that might be a melanoma. And the squamous tumors have another appearance, as do lymphomas. So often by looking at the lesion with the microscope, we can see by just coming into the office and have an idea of what something might be. The definitive diagnosis is by taking a biopsy, a piece of the tissue, and analyzing it. Uh, we've developed here at Bascom Palmer a special way of looking at these cancers with a high resolution, ultra high resolution OCT, which is an optical coherence tomography. So this device can look at the cellular patterns on the eye surface. So I can scan the eye right here in the office, and then I can get an idea of what this lesion might be. It's like an optical biopsy. So then I will, that will help me guide the treatment and management of the lesion. To treat tumors on the eye surface, most of the time it's surgical removal. We'll go to the operating room, and I take it off, we use wide margins to make sure that we get all of the little roots, and we often will use other things like freezing and medicines to try to prevent recurrence or kill any little seeds or cells that might be left over. But here we, at Bascom Palmer, we've pioneered the use of many different medicines that can actually cure many cancers that are on the eye surface. Eye drops, like interferon, use 5-FU, mitomycin, that can very often cure squamous tumors on the eye surface without needing surgery. <music>